What is up guys, Gamer That Sucks here, and today I'm gonna show you on how to get the Helion Shield. Now, in order to get the Helion Shield, there are two methods of doing it. The first method is by going to this pillar at Hyrule Castle. Now, I honestly like this method better because it's a lot easier. All you have to do is just get to this pillar and just climb up the pillar. Um, I'm not sure if that was intended. I'm not sure if Nintendo did this purposely, but this pillar is climbable. And if you do have difficulties trying to climb, um, just run up the pillar and just try to go um, through the creases of the um, pillar. You'll see that some places Link can just stand. And if you just jump a lot, you'll be able to get like the um, jumping animation and also the climbing animation that Link will do when he's climbing up a ledge. So just make your way up this pillar here. I'll show you the second method once we get up the pillar. And for this, you are going to need some arrows. The reason being is because you're going to have to fight a mini boss in which you need arrows to kill him a lot more easier. So I'm just making my way here up the pillar and I'm currently speeding it up. So you guys don't have to suffer of me trying to go up this pillar because it was my first time doing it so I wasn't really good at do, um, doing it at without any sort of difficulty so this was a, a trial and error sort of thing when climbing the pillar. Now like I said here I'm just going to be speaking over this once again because I'm trying to avoid any sort of strikes that Nintendo is trying to give. Now once you reach the pillar um, just get to the top and jump towards the entrance of the castle. You're gonna see here, um, the entrance is right there and just keep jumping towards it. And then halfway through, you're gonna see a little opening where there's a cave and just make your way to that cave with your paraglider. Now, once you get to the, into this cave, there's actually going to be a chest. Open it because there's gonna be a diamond in it in which you can sell it for a lot of rupees. So that's a really good item to get. And I'm gonna show you the second part. Now, the second method of getting to the castle and getting to that specific sort of cave is by going to the entrance of Hyrule Castle. Make sure you have your magnet rune ready so you can open up the door. Now, once you open up the door, just run up to the left side of this little um, pathway and just make your way to the edge. If you see that that guardian uh, aims at you, just jump off the ledge and just keep making your way straight and you'll be able to see the cave right in front of you with the entrance right on it. Now, as you can see here, I already got the shield, but I'm just showing you the second method that you can do as well. All right, so once you've made it to the cave here, you're going to see that there is a bunch of rocks blocking your way. So just use your bomb rune in order to get rid of it and just go through that pathway. Now, once you go into the pathway, you're going to see some enemies here. Those two little ice blocks that you see right now are enemies. You can choose to ignore them. You don't really have to kill them. But if you do want to kill them, you can use fire arrows to kill them. But if you don't, you can just ignore them and just make your way to the um, minecart that you see right here and use your stop time rune and just hit it and just wait until the stasis goes away and then the cart will start running by itself. If it stops midway, just use the stasis once again and do the same thing and then we'll start going on its own once again. So as you can see here, I'm just speeding it up so you guys can see this and it could um, cut some time down. So there you go. You've made it and just make your way through the uh, pathway here. You can explore the area. There's some items that you can get. I choose not to do it. Um, once you explore this area, just make your way up this small little hill here and you're going to see a doorway in which you're going to need to go through. Now, once you make your way through this doorway, you're going to reach a section here and just make your way to the left side. And then you're going to go to the left once again. And just keep going straight. Just keep following the path that I'm going. We're currently at the basement side of Hyrule Castle. So there's going to be some enemies here. And just get your bomb rune once again. So you can open up this pathway that's being blocked by the wall. 
All right, so once you use the bomb, you're gonna see here that there is those one of those eye things that you need to hit with your arrow. And then once you hit that, the doorway will open here for you. And then here, there are two enemies in which you can choose to ignore as well. Just run. There's gonna be a chest right here. I decide to get it because it's a topaz and I can use it to um, get some rupees. If you like, you can get it as well, but you don't have to. Just run past that um, cell way and then past this way and you're gonna see a bunch of bones. The bones are gonna spawn and it's gonna be a mini boss fight in which you're gonna have to fight. Now this one is really, really easy. All you have to do is just hit the eye in which it's just gonna happen here in a second. I'm really bad at using the bow and arrow, so it took me some time here, but hit the guy with the in the eye, and then just get your sword, start hitting him, he'll take some damage, and then just keep doing it until he dies. When you reach to the part where um, it's getting really close for you killing him, what's gonna happen here is that his eye's gonna pop out like it does so right here. And you're going to have to keep hitting the eye. If you don't kill the eye right away, it will go back to him. And you're going to have to hit his eye so it can go down. It was really frustrating doing this part because every time you hit the eye, it moves back. So just make sure you use either a weapon that has long reach, like a spear, and you won't have any sort of troubles with it. So as you can see here, my bow, kind of, my bow broke here. So I had to get a new bow. And then once I get the new bow, just I hit the eye and just kill the eye as soon as possible. One tip I would recommend you to do is hit it towards making it go towards a wall because once it goes to a wall, it'll get stuck and it won't move back anymore. It'll stay in one place. As you see here, it couldn't move back anymore, so it stood in one place. And then once you kill the mini boss here, you'll be able to get some weapons that the boss had stuck in its body. So. It's also a good way of getting some really good weapons here. As you can see here, I'm just trying to pick up the weapons, but since my inventory was full, I just sped up this part where I threw the weapons away. And as you can see here as well, a chest just spawned after killing the mini boss, and that's where your high rule um, shield will be. The Hillian shield will be. Now, this Hillian shield is breakable, it can break on you. However, there are rumor, rumors that if you get your own town, um, once you build the entire town, a merchant will um, go into the town and he'll make a shop in which you can buy the healing shield from him. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment if you do have any um, helpful tips for anybody that's currently watching the video. And yeah, see you guys next time and goodbye.